Hey guys, Moisan here and welcome back again to my channel. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about biotin and things to consider before using biotin as a supplement for hair loss or hair thinning. So without further ado, let's get this video started. So guys, what is biotin? So biotin, also known as vitamin B7 or vitamin H, is actually a vitamin that is responsible for the growth of our hair, skin, and nails. And it's responsible for converting the nutrients that we eat into energy. So it helps metabolize proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. And it increases our energy actually. So it's very important for our body's metabolism. So does biotin really work for hair loss or hair thinning? Personally guys, a lot of the foods that we eat right now from meat, poultry, or vegetable, it contains biotin. So deficiency in biotin is actually very rare, especially in now's uh, generation. And we know that biotin stimulates keratin in our hair and it helps to increase follicular growth. But there is little evidence that the biotin really decreases hair loss or hair thinning, especially in a healthy individual. I know that there are a lot of products, especially like shampoos, creams that contains biotin, claiming that it does help with hair growth or you know it helps to boost hair, but there's really no evidence that those things work. I mean, a lot of the products are actually, some of these products I should say are very expensive and you know, they think that's a holy, holy grail because of the biotin ingredients in there but guys don't waste your money try to do your research because really it will not work biotin does not work topically biotin works by you know by ingesting it or by consuming it i should say and eating a healthy diet such as you know as i said earlier vegetables meat poultry uh, those varieties already contained biotin which is needed for proper growth of our nail skin and hair and and aside from that, eating a healthy variety of foods not just promote or maintain healthy hair, but it's also good for our overall health. So guys, please, if you see a product that contains biotin, always keep in mind that topical biotin, especially like shampoos and those things, does not work. So if you are interested in taking biotin supplement, these are the things that you have to consider before taking biotin supplements for your hair loss or hair thinning. So number one, know the cause of your hair loss. We all know that there are a lot of factors that causes hair loss. And number one is genetics, okay? It comes with stress also, medications that you're currently taking, and of course, medical condition. Or if you do have an underlying condition such as an autoimmune disease, anemia, or if you do have a thyroid issue, issues so those medical conditions contribute to hair loss or hair thinning so these are the things that you have to talk to your doctor and get reassessed before taking a vitamin such as biotin for your hair loss so it is very important to know the root cause of your hair loss before trying out or spending a lot of money for a supplement that does not really have a claim or strong evidence that it would cure or treat your hair loss in that case if you see your doctor your doctor can can of course prescribe you or recommend you the proper treatment for your hair loss or hair thinning. So the second thing that you have to consider before taking a biotin supplement is to talk to your doctor and reassess the status of your biotin levels in your blood. And if you are currently in a medications, because certain medications can interact with biotin. An example is anticonvulsant medication. So those medications actually lowers your biotin levels in your blood. So so you're very at risk for actually having a biotin deficiency but if you go and just take or buy a biotin over the counter you, you're quite unsure of the dosing of the biotin that you're gonna be taking so it is always better to talk to your doctor and tell them that you're currently taking these medications for your medical conditions and what dosing would you recommend we've seen a lot actually of our patients that do have a lower level of biotin levels because they are in a medication that actually causes them to have a lower level of biotin so always always talk to your doctor disclose to them the medications that you're currently taking and your doctors can actually recommend you of the proper biotin 
brand and dose for you. So the third thing that you have to consider is that if you're taking a biotin supplement, especially in a higher dose, it can interact with laboratory testing such as thyroid hormones for troponin level for your heart and also for checking vitamin D level. So while taking biotin, all this result can be abnormal or it can give a false result which is not good and it can be very very dangerous. So it is very important to always disclose to your doctor that you're taking biotin and in what dose. So those are the things that you have to consider before taking a biotin supplement. If you're interested in uh, taking the biotin supplements, it is a safe supplement guys. So anything extra, you just have to, you just pee it out. It's part of the B vitamin where your body only uses what it needs. Before trying out a supplement, try considering your diet first such as obtaining it from fresh fruits and vegetables, seafoods, meat or chicken because and even nuts. Those are very rich in biotin. Guys, as I said earlier, the biotin shampoos does not work. It does not prevent you from having hair loss or hair thinning. I mean, some of them are really nice. I've actually tried a biotin shampoo before when I was kind of scared to take finasteride. But guys, it didn't really help my hair. I was still having so much hair shedding. But I mean, if you want to try, go ahead and try. And guys, I will always highly recommend that you speak with your doctor first before trying out any supplement for your hair loss or hair thinning okay so guys thank you again for watching and i hope you like these videos don't forget to hit that notification bell for more updated videos and share it with your friends and families and then again guys don't forget to subscribe so i will see you again next time on my next videos bye bye